Good morning students. Welcome back to social class. Are you fine students? I hope you all are fine and safe. Students, now which part we are learning? Have you remember? Now we are learning geography part, is it? Students, from geography part, which lesson now we are learning? Very good. Now we are learning geography lesson 4, India resources and industries, is it? Students, from geography part, remaining all the lessons I completed, is it? We learnt remaining all the lesson. This is the last lesson. Today, I will complete this lesson also. So, anyway, today we are going to conclude geography part. Okay, students. First of all, I am going to recall few important points about uh, this lesson. That means, in this lesson, some of the important points I am going to recall. In the first class, we learned about introduction and minerals. That means, uh, one of the important natural resource that is minerals, is it? And also, the two types of minerals also we learned in uh, first class. Uh, first of all, we learned about uh, resource, that means any matter or energy derived from the environment, that means on the earth, that is used by living things, including human beings also. That is called natural resource, is it? Then we learned about some of the natural resources. Natural resource and uh, that is renewable resource and non-renewable resource. What are renewable resource? What are non-renewable resource? These all things we learned, is it? Then we learned about one of the important natural resource that is minerals, is it? That is minerals. Uh, there are two types of minerals, is it? Have you remember students, what are the two types of minerals? Very good. Metallic minerals and metallic mineral, uh, non-metallic minerals, is it? The two types of minerals are metallic minerals and non-metallic minerals. Uh, from uh, some of the examples of metallic, uh, uh, metallic minerals we learned, for example, uh, iron ore, ma manganese, copper, uh, bauxite, these are the examples of metallic minerals. Then we learned about the non-metallic minerals, is it? Students, have you remember what are the examples of non-metallic non minerals? Excellent. Mica, limestone, gypsum, is it? These are the examples of non-metallic minerals, is it? And then students, in the second class, we learned about energy resources. Is it? In the second class, we learned about energy resources. Energy resources, electricity generated resources are called energy resources. Is it? From electricity, the resources are producing, that resources is called energy resources. Then, uh, these energy resources are in two types. Is it? What are the two types of energy resources? Renewable energy resources and non-renewable energy resources, is it? Uh, first of all, we learned about non-renewable energy resources. What are the examples of non-renewable energy resources? Very good. Coal, petroleum, natural gas, is it? Coal, petroleum, natural gas. These are the examples of non-renewable energy resource. Then we learned about the renewable energy resource, is it? What are the examples of renewable energy resource? Hydropower, solar energy, wind energy, biomass energy, tidal and wave energy. These are the examples of renewable energy resources. Then we learned about the conventional energy sources. What are conventional energy sources? Very good. Thermal power and nuclear power. Is it conventional energy sources are thermal power and nuclear power? Is it? These are the things we learned. Then Next, we learned about the industries, is it? Next, we learned about the industries. Industries, that means the activities of converting raw materials into finished products are called industries, is it? Then, there are three types of industries are there, is it? Have you remember students, what are the three types of industries? Very good. Agro-based industries, mineral-based industries and forest-based industries, is it? What are the three types of industries? Agro-based industries, forest-based industries and mineral-based industries, is it? 
from here in the previous class we learned about agro based industries and forest based industries is it agro based industries and forest based industries we uh, we, uh, we learned in previous class is it from here first of all we learned about agro based industries is it agro based industries uh, what are agro based industries very good cotton textile industry jute industry silk industry sugar industry is it agro based industry uh, then jute industry silk industry and sugar industry are called agro based industries is it then next we learned about forest based industry some of the forest based industries are there that means uh, forest provide us the different types of materials that particular materials are used as raw materials for some of the industries like paper lac sports goods play wood etc is it from here one of the important forest based industries we land is it what is the important forest based in uh, forest based industries have you remember students very good paper industry is it paper industry is one of the important forest based industries is it paper industry wherever the paper industries are there uh, from uh, which uh, trees and which are the things they used to produce papers uh, these all things we learned is it uh, and also i gave some question answers i hope you learned that all exercises also students day to day portion you have to learn okay okay students now let us come forward to today's class okay today i am going to teach the third type of industries that is mineral based industries okay the third type of industry is mineral based industry okay mineral based industries that means uh, mineral based industries on the uh, on the basis of it is divided into metallic and met non metallic minerals that means on the base of metallic and non metallic as raw materials used for mineral based industries the mineral based industries are used the metallic and non metallic minerals as raw material okay then in india the major mineral uh, industries are iron and steel industry in india the major mineral based industry is the iron and steel industry okay iron and steel industry and also some other industries are there the examples of mineral based industries are iron and steel industries automobile industries uh, electrical and electronic industries and software industries these are the examples of mineral based industries from here one of the major mineral based industries in india is iron and steel industries okay first of all i am going to explain iron and steel industries the first that means the major mineral based industry iron and steel industry okay listen very careful students iron and steel industry it is called the basic metallurgical industry that means the iron and steel industry is called basic metallurgical industry metallurgical means heating metals metallurgical means heating metals okay that means uh, they they heat the metals and they uh, produced the finished products they produce that particular industries are heating that metals that means iron and steel metals are heated some of the industries uh, and they do the finished product that particular finished products are used some of the other industries okay first some of the industries uh, used that particular uh, mineral resource iron and steel they melted that means they heated and melted that particular iron and steel metals and they do the finished product that particular finished products are used for other industries okay uh, for example uh, some of the several industries are used that particular finished product for example and also uh, that particular uh, finished uh, products are used the uh, products and they are producing some of the things uh, like engineering heavy machines machine tools automobile locomotives and railway equipments these things are uh, produced uh, with the help of that finished product of finance steel industries okay then 
Due to this, uh, India is generally taken as the indicator of the level of industrial development. That means with the help of finance deal, uh, India produced so many things in global level. Okay. And also, um, it developed our economic condition also through these financial industries. Our economic condition also uh, in, um, improved. Okay. Then the first attempt to produce iron and steel unit was set up at Porto Novo. The first iron and steel unit. Okay. One more question. The first iron and steel unit was set up at Porto Novo. Porto Novo is one of the place of Tamil Nadu. It was set up in the year 1830. Okay, it was set up in the year 1830. First iron and steel unit is set up in the year 1830 at Porto Novo in Tamil Nadu. Okay, then the modernization of the industry was started in the year 1907. Modernization, that means development, that means using some of the techniques through that particular industries to making some of the things. Okay, the modernization, that means the development of the industry was started in the year 1907 uh, with the establishment of Tata Iron and Steel Company at Sakchi. Now it is called Jamsadpur. Okay, and also uh, the iron and steel industry of India is mainly concentrated in the states of Jorkent. Okay, the main state we can concentrate at iron and steel industry is Jorkent, followed by some other states also we can concentrate at this iron and steel industry. For example, West Bengal and Odisha. The main state is Jorkent, followed by West Bengal and Odisha. Okay, and also uh, some of the coal fields also uh, used these iron and steel producing uh, things. For example, uh, some of the coal fields like Jaria, Ranikanj, Bokaro, and Karanpura. These are the iron ore mines. These are the iron ore mines. Mostly uh, these areas uh, we can found limestone, dolomite, manganese, silicon, etc. Okay, the silicon, etc. So, with the help of these things, mostly they are producing, uh, they taken the iron and steel and they are producing with the help of iron and steel some of the metals, some of the equipment, some of the machines, etc. Okay, then the second important mineral based industries are automobile industry. <coughs> the second one is the automobile industry. Automobile industry, India uh, is not only large domestic market for automobile industries but also India has the important link between global automatic chain. India has the um, link between global automatic chain also. Okay, then it is one of the most dynamic industrial groups in India. The automobile industry is one of the most dynamic industrial groups in India. Then the first automobile industry of India was started in the year 1947. Okay, the first automobile industry of India was started in the year 1947. Okay, then uh, this particular industry that means the premier automobiles limited located at Kurla. Kurla is at Mumbai. Okay, Kurla is nearby Mumbai. Okay, then uh, followed by Hindustan Motors Limited at Uttarpara, that is in Kolkata. It was set up in the year 1948. Listen very careful students. The first automobile industry of India was started in the year 1947. Followed by the next automobile uh, limited, that means uh, Hindustan Motors Limited that was started in the year 1948. The first automobile industry was set up nearby Mumbai. The second automobile that means the Hindustan Motors Limited was set up nearby Kolkata. It was set up in the year 1948. That is set up in the year 1947. Hindustan Motors Limited is set up in the year 1948. Okay. At present India has India is the seventh largest producer of automobile manufacturers. At present, India is the seventh largest producer of automobile manufacturers. Mostly, um, in India, 
produced some of the uh, things for example through automobile industries uh, india produced two wheelers commercial vehicles passenger car jeep scooty scooters motorcycle mopeds and three wheelers these are the things mostly produced through these automobile industries okay then uh, some of the states or some of the major centers produced these all vehicles for example mumbai chennai jamshedpur jabalpur kolkata pune new delhi kanpur bangalore sadara lucknow and mysore these are the important centers to produce these automobile things that means these vehicles okay then chennai is nicknamed as the detroit of asia due to the presence of major automobile manufacturing units that means many automobile manufacturing units are situated at chennai so chennai is nicknamed as detroit of asia okay chennai is nicknamed as detroit of asia okay then the uh, tata motors some of the companies of vehicles for example tata motors maruti suzuki mahindra and mahindra hindustan motors these are the largest passengers car manufacturers in indian companies the indian companies in india in our country the indian companies manufacturing passengers cars are tata motors maruti suzuki mahindra and mahindra and hindustan motors okay and also uh, i present some of the foreign car companies also located in india uh, for some of the companies such as uh, mercedes benz fiat general motors toyota these are the some of the passengers car manufacturers and also bmw audi volkswagen volvo mix these are the indian automobile sectors okay these are the indian automobile sectors some of the foreign automobile sectors also located in india okay then and also the tata motors asok leyland hr motors mahindra and mahindra ford motors these are the major indian companies these particular companies are manufacturing some of the commercial vehicles okay some of the commercial vehicles are manufactured by these some important companies for example tata motors asok leyland hr motors mahindra and mahindra and ford motors okay then man itcec then mercedes benz scania uh, hyundai these are the foreign companies they manufactured some of the commercial vehicles the indian companies manufactured the commercial vehicles are tata motors asok leyland hr motors mahindra and mahindra and ford motors then uh, some of the foreign companies engaged in india to produce commercial vehicles are man itec mercedes benz scania and hyundai these are the some of the foreign companies engaged in manufacture of commercial vehicles okay then two wheeler manufacturing also dominated in indian companies some of the companies are manufactured two wheelers uh, for example like hero bajaj auto tvs these are the some of the two wheelers manufacturing companies in india what are the two wheelers manufacturing companies in india students hero bajaj auto and tvs these are the two wheelers manufacturing companies okay can you understand then next i am going to uh, explain uh, some of the industries where it is located in which year that that particular industries are established then which are the products are producing that particular industries okay first i am saying the name of the industry okay the name of the industry the name of the industry first one is that tata iron and steel company t a s c o that means tata iron and steel company it was situated in jamshedpur and jorkent this tata iron and steel company was established in the year 1911 a big iron wire produced through this tata iron and steel company 
ഓക്കെ പിക് അയൺ വയർ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് സെക്കൻഡ്ലി ഇന്ത്യൻ അയൺ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റീൽ കമ്പനി സെക്കൻഡ്ലി ഇന്ത്യൻ അയൺ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റീൽ കമ്പനി ദിസ് കമ്പനീസ് ആർ സിറ്റുവേറ്റഡ് അറ്റ് ബാൻഡ്പൂർ ഹിരാപൂർ കുൽറ്റി ആൻഡ് വെസ്റ്റ് ബംഗാൾ ദിസ് കമ്പനി വാസ് സെറ്റ് അപ്പ് ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ നയൻറ്റീൻ സെവൻറ്റി ടു ദിസ് ഇന്ത്യൻ അയൺ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റീൽ കമ്പനി വാസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ നയൻറ്റീൻ സെവൻറ്റി ടു ത്രൂ ദീസ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ദ പിക് അയൺ ആൻഡ് ക്രൂഡ് സ്റ്റീൽ വെയർ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ഓക്കെ ദൻ ദ തേർഡ് വൺ ഈസ് വിശ്വേസ്വരായ അയൺ സ്റ്റീൽ ലിമിറ്റഡ് വി ഐ എസ് എൽ ഓക്കെ വി ഐ എസ് എൽ വിശ്വേശ്വരായ അയൺ സ്റ്റീൽ ലിമിറ്റഡ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് സിറ്റുവേറ്റഡ് അറ്റ് ബാത്രവതി ആൻഡ് കർണാടക ബാത്രവതി ആൻഡ് കർണാടക ദിസ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി വാസ് സെറ്റ് അപ്പ് ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ നയൻറ്റീൻ ട്വൻറ്റി ത്രീ അലായ് ആൻഡ് സ്പോങ് സ്റ്റീൽ ഐറ്റംസ് വെയർ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ത്രൂ ദീസ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ദൻ ദ ഫോർത്ത് വൺ ഈസ് ഹിന്ദുസ്ഥാൻ സ്റ്റീൽ ലിമിറ്റഡ് ഹൈ ചെസ്സൽ ഹൈ ചെസ്സൽ മീൻസ് ഹിന്ദുസ്ഥാൻ സ്റ്റീൽ ലിമിറ്റഡ് ഓക്കെ ദീസ് ഹിന്ദുസ്ഥാൻ സ്റ്റീൽ ലിമിറ്റഡ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ആർ സിറ്റുവേറ്റഡ് അറ്റ് ബിലൈ ആൻഡ് സട്ടിസ്കോർ ബിലൈ ആൻഡ് സട്ടിസ്കാർ ദിസ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി വാസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റി സെവൻ ഓക്കെ ദിസ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി വാസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഫിഫ്റ്റി സെവൻ സം ഓഫ് ദ റെയിൽവേ എക്യൂപ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഷിപ്പ് ബിൽഡിംഗ് ഐറ്റംസ് വെയർ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ത്രൂ ദീസ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ദ ഫിഫ്ത് വൺ ഈസ് ഹിന്ദുസ്ഥാൻ സ്റ്റീൽ ലിമിറ്റഡ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ഹിന്ദുസ്ഥാൻ സ്റ്റീൽ ലിമിറ്റഡ് കൊലാബറേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് റഷ്യ സെക്കൻഡ് വൺ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ഹിന്ദുസ്ഥാൻ സ്റ്റീൽ ലിമിറ്റഡ് കൊലാബറേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ജർമ്മനി ഓക്കെ കൊലാബറേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ജർമ്മനി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സിറ്റുവേറ്റഡ് അറ്റ് റോ റോർ കേല ആൻഡ് ഒഡീഷ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സിറ്റുവേറ്റഡ് അറ്റ് റോർ കേല ആൻഡ് ഒഡീസ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ നയൻറ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ നയൻറ്റീൻ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ദൻ the hot and cold rolled sheets then galvanized sheets electrical plates these are the things produced through these particular steel and um, hindustan steel and limited industries then next one is the hindustan steel limited collaborated with united kingdom okay it was situated in the areas of durkapur and west bengal durkapur and west bengal these industries are established in the year 1959 um the alloy steel construction materials railway equipments are produced through these particular industries okay then the seventh one is hindustan steel limited collaborated with russia okay these particular industries are located in bokaro and jorkent bokaro and jorkent these particular industries are established in the year 1972 the sledge and slog items were produced through these particular industries then the eighth one is chelam steel limited chelam steel limited this industry is located at chelam in tamil nadu chelam in tamil nadu uh, it was established in the year 1982 it was established in the year 1982 stainless steel items were produced through these particular industries then the ninth one is vijayanagar steel plant vijayanagar steel plant uh, dornakal that is it is in Kar- uh, karnataka it was established in the year 1994 the flat steel and long steel were produced through these particular industries then the last one is visakhapatnam steel plant uh, it was uh, situated uh, at visakhapatnam in andhra pradesh it was established in the year 1981 some of the hard metals were produced through these industries okay can you understand students these are the uh, some of the industries where it is located in which year it was established what are the things produced through these industries okay then the next important mineral based industry is the electrical and electronic industries okay electrical and electronic industries listen students heavy electrical industries manufacture equipments were used for power generation then transmission and utilization some of the electrical industries manufacture some of the equipments uh, with the help of they used for some of the power generation transmission and utilization then turbines for steam turbines means device for thermal uh, energy okay then hydro power plants boilers for thermal power plants generators transformers 
switch gears switch gears that means uh, uh, so one of the electrical power system it is one of the electrical power system these are the cheap products of this industry listen very careful student what are the cheap products of electrical and electronic industries the uh, some of the um, transmitters switch gears Power, um, thermal power plant, electrical power plant, generators, transformers, etc. These are the cheap products of electrical and electronic industries. Okay. Uh, the most important company in the field of heavy electrical is Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited. Bell, B H E L. Bell. Bell means Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited. The most important company of electrical industry is the Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited. Okay. Uh, it was planned at Hardware, Bhopal, Hyderabad, Jammu, Bangalore, Jhansi and Trichrapalli. These particular companies are situated at Hardware, Bhopal, Hyderabad, Jammu Kashmir, Bangalore, Jhansi and Trichrapalli. Okay. Then through these particular industries, some of the things are produced. For example, television sets, transistor sets, transistor sets that means small piece of electronic equipments. Okay. Then telephone exchange items, cellular telegram items, computers part, uh, some of the equipments for postal areas, some of the equipments of railway, defense department, metrological department. Metrological department means related the branch of science. Okay, uh, through this area, some of the materials or some of the machines or some of the equipments were produced this, through these electrical and electronic industries. Okay, then Bangalore is the largest producer of electronic goods in India. Bangalore is the largest producer of electronic goods in India. Bangalore. So, Bangalore is called the electronic capital of India. Important one word question. Okay, book inside important public exam question. Uh, Bangalore is called as electronic capital of India. Which is electronic capital of India? Very good. Bangalore. Okay, important one word question. Bangalore is called as the electronic capital of India. Okay. The other major products of electronic goods centers are Hyderabad, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, Kanpur, Pune, Lucknow, Jaipur and Coimbatore. Okay, these are the other important producer of electronic goods items. Okay, then in India, the um, 2014 was launched the um, electronic, some of the electronic items. It is get to the world name, major hub for global design and manufacturing. That is, India has the major part of global design and manufacturing. A 2018 program were launched. India is the world map as the major hub for, hub means major part or place for global design and manufacturing. Okay. Then, the last one is software industry. The last one is the software industry. India is the home of some of the software companies in the world. India is the home of some of the finest software, some of the finest software companies in the world. Uh, then, the software companies in India are uh, IT and business related solution. Okay. Then, the software industry has brought about the tremendous success tremendous means large or great great success for the emerging economic condition that means through software our india's economic condition also improving okay in india the software industry began in 1970 in india the software industry began in 1970 um, with the entry of tata consultancy services Along with some other companies also, LNT, Infots, Iflex, Assengers, Cognizant, Galex Solutions uh, and India Private Limited, ITC, Infots. These are the major software industries in India. At present, there are 500 software companies are in India. In India has 500 software companies in, uh, at present.
ഓക്കെ നയൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഓഫ് വേൾഡ് സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ഐറ്റംസ് വെയർ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ത്രൂ ഇന്ത്യ ദ കൺട്രി ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ദ മേജർ സെൻറ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഐ ടി പാർക്സ് ആർ ലൊക്കേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ ചെന്നൈ കോയമ്പത്തൂർ തിരുവനന്തപുരം ബാംഗ്ലൂർ മൈസൂർ ഹൈദരാബാദ് വിശാഖപട്ടണം മുംബൈ പൂനെ ഇൻഡോർ ഗാന്ധിനഗർ ജയ്പൂർ നോയിദ മൊഹാലി ആൻഡ് ശ്രീനഗർ ദീസ് ആർ ദ മേജർ ഐ ടി പാർക്സ് മേജർ ഐ ടി പാർക്സ് ഓക്കെ ക്യാൻ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ദീസ് ആർ ദ മിനറൽ ബേസ്ഡ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദ മിനറൽ ബേസ്ഡ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഹാവ് യു റിമെമ്പർ അയൺ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റീൽ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് മിനറൽ ബേസ്ഡ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീ ഇസ് ദ അയൺ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റീൽ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ഫോളോഡ് ബൈ ഓട്ടോമൊബൈൽ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ഇലക്ട്രിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ദ സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ഓക്കെ ലാസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ദ സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ഓക്കെ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് മേജർ ചാലഞ്ചസ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് മേജർ ചാലഞ്ചസ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ദിസ് ഈസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് മാർക്ക് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഓക്കെ വെരി ഈസി ബട്ട് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് മാർക്ക് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ മേജർ ചാലഞ്ചസ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ലിസൺ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഫേസ്ഡ് മെനി പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ഓക്കെ ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ആർ ഫേസ്ഡ് മെനി പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ഹിയർ സം ഓഫ് ദ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് വെയർ ഗിവൻ ഓക്കെ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ഷോർട്ടേജ് ആൻഡ് ഫ്ലക്ച്വേഷൻ ഇൻ പവർ സപ്ലൈ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ഷോർട്ടേജ് ആൻഡ് ഫ്ലക്ച്വേഷൻ ഇൻ പവർ സപ്ലൈ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഷോർട്ടേജ് ആൻഡ് വേരിയേഷൻ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദ പവർ സപ്ലൈ ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഗെറ്റ് ഷോർട്ടേജ് ഓഫ് പവർ സപ്ലൈ ദ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ഗെറ്റ് ഷോർട്ടേജ് ഓഫ് പവർ സപ്ലൈസ് ആൻഡ് ദ വേരിയേഷൻ വേരിയേഷൻ ഇൻ റൈസിങ് ആൻഡ് ഫോളിങ് ഓക്കെ ദ പവർ സപ്ലൈ വെയർ റൈസിങ് ആൻഡ് ഫോളിങ് ഓക്കെ സെക്കൻഡ്ലി നോൺ അവൈലബിലിറ്റി ഓഫ് ലാർജ് ബ്ലോക്സ് ഓഫ് ലാൻഡ് non availability that means uh, one big industry want to form means they need more land is it but non availability of large blocks of land the most of the areas they won't get large more areas to construct the industries okay then the third one is poor access to credit that means they are getting uh, poor uh, very less credit credit in tamil we are saying kadan okay then the next one is high rate of interest for borrowed loan Uh, if the industries get loan means the particular uh, person industries want to pay more interest that also one of the important problem uh, the industries are faced then the next one is the non availability of cheap labors that means cheaply they won't get the labors they want to give more uh, salary for the labors the non availability of cheap labors the next one is lack of technical and vocational training for employers that means the employers won't get some of the techniques through they are doing they are producing the things areas then vocational training also the employers won't get that also one of the main problem uh, in the industries are faced the last one is in appropriate living conditions nearby industrial estates Uh, inappropriate that means not suitable not suitable living conditions nearby industrial estates that means the people cannot live near the industrial areas that is one of the important uh, problem okay the not suitable living conditions nearby industrial estates these are the major problems the indian industries are faced okay can you understand students these are one five mark question okay i completed this lesson i hope you understood these all things shall we recall the points students today we learned mineral based industries is it mineral based industries have you remember students what are the important mineral based industries iron and steel industries automobile industries electrical and electronic industries and software industries is it from here the major mineral based industry is the iron and steel industry is it major uh, mineral based industry is the iron and steel industry is it then uh, from here uh, this iron and steel industry is called the basic metallurgical industry that means the finished products were used to the raw material for other industry is it uh, some of the uh, things were produced through these iron and steel industries uh, with the help of iron and steel for example some of the engineering items heavy machines machine tool automobile locomotives locomotive locomotives means uh, one of the vehicles used for pulling the trains then some of the railway equipments these are uh, produced with the help of iron and steel okay then 
the first attempt to produce iron and steel unit was uh, in at porto novo it is in tamil nadu it was set up in the year 1830 okay then uh, some of the areas that mean the first the modernization of the industry was started in the year 1907 uh, some of the iron and steel companies were uh, concentrated in jharkhand west bengal odisha etc okay then uh, the next one is the automobile industry the next one is the automobile industry the first automobile industry of india was started in the year 1947 okay the first automobile industry of india was started in the year 1947 okay then uh, it is uh, set up uh, at uh, kurla kurla is in mumbai okay then followed by the hindustan motors limited it was set up in the 1948 and nearby kolkata uttarpara it is in kolkata okay then from here two wheelers commercial vehicles passengers cars jeep scooty uh, scooters motorcycle mopeds two with three wheelers likewise more, so many things were they produced okay then chennai is called as the detroit of asia chennai's nickname detroit of asia because many automobile manufacturers are located in chennai so chennai is nicknamed as the detroit of asia okay then some of the companies for example tata motors maruti suzuki mahindra and mahindra hindustan motors these companies are produced some of the passengers cars then some of the farm passengers companies also there for example mercedes benz fiat general motors toyota these are some of the foreign companies then some of the commercial vehicles were produced the some of the uh, foreign commercial uh, companies are uh, tata motors asok leyland hr motors mahindra and mahindra ford motors these are the indian companies then some of the foreign companies are man itec mercedo benz scania hyundai these are the foreign companies to manufacture the commercial vehicle then some of the two wheelers companies also they are for example hero uh, bajaj auto tvs these are the two wheelers companies okay the next we learned about uh, the important industries uh, where it is located in which year that particular industries are established and what are the things produced that particular industries that also we land is it the next important uh, mineral based industry is the electrical and electronic industries that means some of the electrical items and electronic items were in, uh, produced uh, some of the industries the main uh, industry is bharat heavy electrical limited bell company okay bharat heavy electrical limited okay then bangalore bangalore is the largest producer of electronic goods in india so bangalore is called as electronic capital of india already i told this it, it is one of the important question bangalore is called the electronic capital of india okay then the last one is software industry software industry india is the home of uh, the finest software companies in the world uh, then in india the software industry began in 1970 in india the software industry began in 1970 some of the companies are there for example uh, tata consultancy services lnt infots ifly iflex asenger cognizant uh, galex solution india private limited itc infots these are the major software industries okay at present india has 500 software companies okay then the main centers of it parks mostly the main centers are located at chennai coimbatore tiruvananthapuram bangalore mysore hyderabad visakhapatnam mumbai pune indore gandhinagar jaipur noida mohali and srinagar okay then finally we learned about major challenges of indian industries what are the problems were faced uh, indian industries okay first they faced shortage of uh, shortage and uh, fluctuation of power supply then non availability of large blocks of land uh, then poor access to credit high rate of interest for borrowed loan uh, non availability of cheap labors lack of techniques and vocational training of for employees these are the uh, then inappropriate that mean not suitable for living condition nearby industrial estates these are the problems faced by indian industries okay can you understand students that's all this lesson now ala take a book ala take a book turn the exercise page turn the exercise page roman number 1 choose the correct answer 
I'll have marked the question answer students. Choose the correct answer number one. Choose the correct answers number one. Manganese is used in dash steel making. Manganese is used in dash steel making. Number two. The anthracite coal has dash 80 to 95% of carbon. A option. Number three. The most important constituents of petroleum are hydrogen and carbon. Okay. Fourth one, the city which is called as the Manchester of South India is Coimbatore. Fifth one, the first nuclear power station was commissioned in Maharashtra. Sixth one, the most abundant source of energy is sun. Seventh one, the famous uh, Sindri fertilizers plant is located in Jorkant. Then eighth one, the nucleus for the development of the Chotanagpur Plateau region is mineral deposit. Can you understand students? Did you mark? Once again, I will repeat the first one A option. Question number one A option. Number two A sorry. Question number one B option. Steel making. B option. Number two A option. Number three C option. Number four D option. Number five C option. Number six B option. Number seven Jork, uh, A option. Number eight. B option. Okay, number 8, B option. Then match the following. First one, bauxite answer aircraft. Bauxite answer is aircraft. Gypsum answer is cement. Gypsum answer is cement. Black hold answer is coal. Answer is coal. Iron ore answer is ma uh, magnetite. Iron ore answer is magnetite. Mica answer is electrical goods. Mica, answer is electrical goods. Then answer the following question briefly. Roman number 3, all the questions already I gave. Okay, 7 questions are there. There 7 questions are already I gave. Then distinguish also I gave. Uh, all the distinguish 5 questions are there. You have to refer the guide. Distinguish between you have to refer the guide. Then paragraph, first question already I gave. Is it right about distribution of cotton textile industries in India already I gave. The second question you have to mark now. Second question. Describe the major challenges of Indian industries. Describe the major challenges of Indian industries. Page number 183. Page number 183. Major challenges of Indian industries heading. There some points are given. Is it? Seven points are given. Industries in India faced many problems there too. That's seven points. Up to there seven points you have to mark. Then Roman number 6, outline map of India mark the following. Iron ore production center, centers of petroleum and natural gas, coal mining centers, areas of cultivation, cotton, iron and steel industry. These are given in the guide. Book also given. You have to mark uh, or uh, refer the book or guide. Okay, you have to refer the book or guide and mark these all maps. Okay, students, any doubt after reopening the school, I will clear all the uh, map doubts. Okay, I completed this lesson, uh, geography part, the whole geography part I completed. Students, you have to learn from here, any doubt, you have to refer the guide. Okay, any doubt, you refer the guide. And also after reopening the school, I will, I will um, we will declare any doubts means we will declare and we will clear it. Okay, okay, the next class I will teach the new lesson. We will meet the next class. Thank you students.